Good morning, my name is Robert. I'm from Arizona. And uh, I'm, it's my second day after surgery. They told me that because of my condition, I would basically just wait with poor vision until I couldn't, I could barely see anymore. And then I would get a corneal transplant, which was not very conducive to what I had in mind. So because of my previous, you know, history, radial keratotomy and, and a severe cataract, which, you know, at some point was going to have to be operated on anyways. I mean, there was, that was going to have to happen. So my thought process was why wait 15 years till I'm blind and then go ahead and do this, you know, when there's a solution right now. And, you know, it's 15 years of my life that I want to spend, you know, doing things. 15 from years from now, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. So, you know, why not make the most of that time to do something about it? So I came down here and Dr. Gulani had quite an experience. All his staff is beautiful. There's no waiting. Um, when you go in for the surgery, you walk right into the surgery area. Um, you get started. There's no anesthesia. There's no, there's no pain. There's, uh, he, he's a skilled surgeon. He gets in and out of it without making a mess. And, um, like I said, two days out, I got, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a little patience cause every day it, it improves a little bit. But I'm already better than my right eye, which used to be my better eye. I know my left eye is a little better. So I think I'm, I'm really happy with how that's progressing. And um, I just want to add that, you know, all the research that you do on this, which you're not going to find a whole lot because nobody really wants to do this kind of surgery. Um is is a little bit limited so it's important i guess to go over the research and the history of of the doctors that you decide or you're considering you know so dr gulani don't forget he's he's got 30 years experience and he does a wide range and he's like a decathlon of eye doctors so he's gonna choose the right procedure for you and not just what he does. So I guess my message is, um, you know, if you're ready to step out and be proactive, um, you know, you can't let fear stop you. So I guess my closing statement is uh, fear is a lack of faith, so uh, trust somebody.